Auburn quarterback Peyton Thorne revealed an unusual form of backlash after the Tigers' recent loss to California. He's been receiving Venmo requests from disgruntled bettors who lost money on the game. The Tigers fell 21-14 at home to the Golden Bears, dropping to 1-1 on the season, a result that clearly didn't sit well with some fans. In an interview on Tuesday with The Next Round, Thorne shared that some individuals, after losing their bets on Auburn, found his Venmo account and sent him requests, hoping to recoup their losses. Thorne humorously explained, they're definitely not sending cash. When they lose money, they want the money back, but when they win money on a parlay, no one's ever sending any money. While Thorne took it in stride, his remarks underscore a growing trend in sports where athletes are increasingly being exposed to gambling-related feedback, not just from traditional critics but from bettors who lose money when the team underperforms. Since the federal ban on sports betting was lifted in 2018, gambling has become a staple in American sports culture. Sports betting is now legal in many states, and the industry has boomed, with apps and platforms making it easy for fans to place wagers on their favorite teams. As a result, athletes across various levels, including college sports, are often at the receiving end of the frustrations from bettors who tie their financial outcomes to a team's performance. Thorne is not the first athlete to speak about being directly contacted by fans over lost wagers, and he likely won't be the last. The game itself was a frustrating one for Auburn, particularly on the offensive side. The Tigers turned the ball over three times, stalling drives and missing opportunities to capitalize on key moments. Head coach Hugh Freeze, during his Monday Night Coaches show, lamented the team's mistakes and discussed the performance of the offense, especially the errors made by Thorne in the quarterback room. We left so many plays out there, Freeze said. He detailed how he had gone over 15 specific plays with his quarterbacks that were very frustrating. Freeze was candid about his disappointment, saying he was baffled by some of the decisions his players made during the game. One play in particular stood out, a fourth down situation in the first quarter where Thorne made a crucial error. In this scenario, Auburn was facing a fourth and two at midfield, a pivotal moment in the game. Rather than taking the safer, short slant routes that would have easily moved the chains, Thorne opted to take a risk and throw a deep ball, resulting in an incompletion and a turnover on downs. Freeze expressed his frustration with this decision, pointing out that two slant routes had opened up and both receivers had successfully beaten their coverage. The coaching staff had designed the play to give Thorne options, but the quarterback chose the riskier path. While Freeze was quick to point out the player's mistakes, he also shouldered some responsibility for the loss. I'm the first to stand before our team and say, guys, we called five plays that schematically did not give you a fighting chance, Freeze admitted. However, he noted that out of all the plays called in the game, there was only one that he truly considered a bad decision by the coaching staff. The rest, he said, were cases of players either missing their assignments or making poor decisions in critical moments.